Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to introduce to you a fun product that will help you with your foils, and it's the Dimey Magic Gel. I'll show you the outcome and how I use it, so let's go ahead and get started. So one of my favorite foil gel is from Daily Charm and I've tested a couple of foil gels and I found out that the Daily Charm one is the best and has the best adhesion. If you don't know already, if you use the Daily Charm foil gel, to get the most out of it, you need to wipe the hibition layer before putting on your foil. If you don't do it, then you are going to have a very patchy outcome of the foil. Hey, with the Magic Gel, this is my first time trying out this product. I've been seeing it around my Instagram for a while now, and now that I have it here, I want to see how great this product is. Very first nail tip here, what I'm doing is laying down a layer of the gel and then putting the foil on top without caring. I'm doing this to see how well the foil sticks onto this gel. I will say that this gel is very thick so a little does go a long way. I did cut my foils into little pieces so I can lay them down. Here I'm just pressing it down to make sure that it is nicely snugged in with the gel. Now that I have cured it, let's go ahead and peel this and see how easy it peels and if it has any kind of spottiness. I make sure to press it one more time after curing to make sure that everything is really stuck onto this gel. You'll notice that whenever I start peeling, if it becomes a bit patchy, I'll just lay it back down and just kind of press it in with my tweezer here. It actually works pretty well because the foil sticks back onto the gel, but if you don't press it well enough, then the foil will just come right off. One thing I will say about this technique is that with putting the gel down first and then without curing putting the foil on top, is that it does come out a little bit more patchy and it's not as smooth because then you're pressing uh, the foil down and then creating that ridge between that foil and the gel. So I do notice that it's not as smooth as I would like it to be. With my second tip, I went ahead and cured it before putting on the foil. I just gotta say that you need to be careful when laying down your foil because this is super sticky. I'm loving how you don't need to wipe the sticky layer and you can already see and feel how sticky it is. Still want to make sure my foil is sticking on nicely so I'm making sure to press the foil down to the foil gel so that I don't have any kind of patchiness when I rip it up. I'll go ahead and take my silicone tool and just make sure that last press to make everything stick before I start peeling. Now that everything looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and peel and then I'll do a little design with it just to show you what you can do with foil. You don't really have to just leave it as is. There's a lot of things that you can do with foil and I'll show you a little bit of what I did. Thank you. 
Now on to the third nail tip. I went ahead and laid the foil gel already and cured it. I'm going to take a little piece of foil here and just lay a full sheet on here. And look how strong it is. It took a little piece of the foil, but you know what? Let's recover and let's start pressing that full foil on there to see how well it sticks. To me, to my surprise, it sticked on really well. Just make sure that you are pressing in every nick and cranny. I know sometimes foil can crease, but you know what? You can still fix it because it is that sticky. And this is such a satisfying feeling when you pull that foil off and just see the results. Now I did get a little bit of patchiness to it because obviously I did not press it well enough. But I went ahead and created a cute little um, ombre design. So again, you can always do so much stuff with foils. All right, here are the three tips with three different techniques. Let me know which techniques you like best and if this would be something you would invest in. As always, if you enjoyed this nail tutorial, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!